Hi guys, welcome back. Chapter 3 Information Gathering. We will see passive information gathering and active information gathering one by one. So before we continue this video, uh, please go and watch the tap chapter 1 and chapter 2. Chapter 1 got 4 videos and chapter 2 got 3 videos. Okay. So let's start from the passive information gathering. So passive information gathering also known as open source intelligence or OSINT is the process of collecting openly available information about a target generally without any direct interaction with the target. There are a variety of resources and tools we can use to gather this information and the process is cyclical rather than linear. In, in other words, the next step of any stage of the process depend on what we finding during the previous steps creating cycles of processes the ultimate goal of passive information gathering is to obtain information that clarifies or expands on attack surface helps us conduct a successful phishing campaign or supplement other penetration test steps such as password guessing before we begin, we need to define passive information gathering. There are two different schools of thought on what constitutes passive in this context. In the strictest interpretations, we never communicate with the target directly. For example, we could rely on third party for information, but we wouldn't access any of these target systems or server. In a loser interpretation, we might interact with the target but only as a normal internet user would. For example, if the target websites allow us to register for an account, we could do that. However, under these interpretations, we wouldn't test the website for vulnerabilities during this phase. Website recon. Website recon, if if the client has a website, we can gather basic information by simply browsing the site. Small organizations may only have a single website, while large organizations might have many, including some that are not maintained. Let's check out uh, some examples. So let's say it's uh, google.com. So just for example. So a quick review of this website. So this is a nanotech company. So let's click the about page. So about page, uh, you guys can see here the email address of the CEO, and the, the web designers and senior developers. So the about page reveals email address and Twitter account of some of uh, the key people working in this company. So we could use these address in a social media information gathering campaign. It is also worth noting that the email address, the company email address format follows a pattern of first initial plus last name. However, the CEO email address simply uses his first name. This indicates that founder or long time employee have a different email format that never hires these information could be useful in a large stage of the assessment. So and then you can also you guys can see that the social media accounts so the corporate social media accounts found on the same page are also what recording for further research. So this also is very uh, useful piece of information. Who is enumerations? Who is is a TCP service tools 
and a type of database that can provide information about a domain name such as the name server and registrar. So we can now check this uh, mega cup one. So this information is often public since registrar charge a fee for private registrations. We can gather basic information about a domain name by executing a standard forward search uh, bypassing uh, the domain name into the who is list okay so let's enter so not all the not all of this data is useful but we did discover some valuable information the output reveals the Alan Grofield registered the domain name you guys can see here the register name so we can now check the Allen Crowfield on the website. The contact page, let's check here. So according to Megacarpon contact page, Allen Crowfield is the IT and security director. So, so on the result we, we also found the name server. Okay. So name server are a component of DNS which we won't be examining here but we we should add this server to our node for further investigations okay in addition to this standard forward lookup which gather information about a DNS name the who is client can also perform reverse lookups as let's assume we have the IP address okay so we can perform a reverse lookup to gather more information about it so the result of the reverse lookup give us information on who is hosting the IP address so the information could be useful later and as we as with the all the information we gather we should add this to our nodes okay Google hacking. The term Google hacking was popularized by Johnny Long in 2001. Hey, that's me. Through several talks on on an extremely pop popular book, he outlined how search engine like Google could be used to uncover critical information vulnerabilities and misconfigured websites. So, at at the heart of the technique, uh like clever search strings and operators that allow creative refinement of search queries most of which work with a variety of search engine the process is iterative beginning with the broad search which is narrowed down with the operators to sift out irrelevant or uninteresting results let's try a few of these operators to get feel for how they work. So let's start with the site. Site allows you to narrow your search by either a site or a top level domain. Let's say if you want to check the Microsoft. Let's give it a try. So Microsoft.com. So we can now see the uh, support.microsoft.com. You know, so the carry.microsoft.com everything so we can just add this uh, let's say if you want to uh, see the PDF file uh, from the website so we can use the file type syntax and then PDF so the file type syntax uh, search the suffix or file extensions so these are usually uh, but not necessarily uh, different file types so let's enter so now you guys can see here the PDF all the PDF file uh, that's stored in the website so if you just uh, if you just double click so you can see the PDF so you can also use a uh, file type as a HTML XML uh, PHP you know so 
you can even search for different page generators such as ASP, PHP, uh, uh, CGI and so forth. Presuming the site is not hiding them behind redirections and proxying. So Google indexed several different Microsoft formats including the PPT, X, uh, Excel and Word doc. So now we can check the related syntax. So for example, related Microsoft.com. So enter. So which means that the related syntax, as you might expect, so find page that are related to the specified page. Not all page are related to other page. So this is a good way to find categories of pages. So we can now see the info. The info syntax provides a page of links to more information about a specified URL. So information includes a link to the URL catchy, a list of page that links to that URL, a page that related to the URL and page that contains the URL. So please note that, that this information is depends on whether the Google has indexed that URL or not. If Google hasn't indexed that URL, the information will be obviously be more limited. So let's enter. So you guys can see here. So that or when you use this info, okay. So we can also use a uh, different, like say McAfee. Okay, so, so now we can check this uh, link. So the link syntax is it returns a list of page linking to the specified URL. So let's uh, enter uh, link www.mcafee.com and you will be written a list of page that link to the McAfee. Okay. You can also include that HTTP. Uh, uh, you, you don't need to, you, you don't need it. Uh, and indeed the Google appears to ignore if you do put it in the link. So okay, so let's enter. So now you guys can see here, so those are linked to the specified URL. So we can now also check some useful uh, stuff like uh, uh, resource such as webcams or printers or stored password or mail system uh, just to the name a few okay so let's go for the advanced level so uh, let me copy in here uh, let's say this command uh, we are looking for the uh, links is login page you know so the links is a router okay so and then using that in URL and then main dot CGI the page so that in URL is a restrict your search to the URL of the page. So this syntax tends to work well for finding search and help page uh, because they tend to the rather uh, tend to be rather regular in composition. So let's enter here. So we can see here the search result uh, so 79 and then let's try click here. So the second one, let's try. Yeah. So now we can see uh, the page, the links is page, and then yeah, there's a, there's a lot of uh, results you guys can find. Okay. So let's try the another command. Let's copy first. So just enter. So. We can now see the active cameras. Yeah, so you guys can see here that camera. So yeah, it's it's working. OK, 
okay the active camera so we can now so let's try the in title syntax so in title uh, let's say uh, it's it, in title is a restrict you search to the title of a page so it's bring all the uh, Toshiba network camera and that's the text everything so let's enter so we can now just click the first page the first result so yeah the second yes so you can see you guys can see here right so the login page oh is this working or not uh, okay 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 so I don't want to check this it takes time so this is a uh, uh, best one of the useful command to check this uh, the login page of the camera so let's check the printer now so let's say in URL so web dot CGI so let's enter so we can now check the first one yeah it's working the home page so you guys can see here that uh, can I see the print jobs oh it's working <laughs> okay I'm not hacking here this the information is uh, available here so you guys can find the sensitive information uh, using this kind of commands you know so you can also use the uh, in title and then let's say we can now enter we can just click the first one let's see so this is also working so you guys can see here that the uh, information the print jobs or can I print test page so if I print test page maybe it's working if the printer is uh, not if the printer is online so you can see the printer is offline right now yes so and then the print job so can I see these view job logs refresh so so far there is no the admin is asking password okay so this is the available information so I'm not hacking anything okay so this is all available in the Google so we can now check this uh, the server information let's say the Apache server information so we can use the uh, uh, the this command the syntax so in title index of Apache and server at so let's enter so I don't want to open this uh, stuff sometime uh, so you guys can see the index the result so you guys can see that uh, Apache servers informations so you guys can use this command to uh, you guys can use this syntax so in title index of uh, Apache you know the text and the server art so to get this uh, result so you get you see the result so let's say if you guys want to check the Microsoft small business servers so you can use this stuff 
so you guys can use this uh, syntax and then the title and the text welcome to Windows small business so you, you get more results here so 216 results found so let's say if you guys want to uh, see the if you want to find the administrator administrative credential for front page of applications so there is a command there is a syntax so let me copy the so let's say if you want to uh, check the administrative credential for front page applications so let me copy this so you guys can use this uh, the syntax the same formats you will get the credential, the administrative credential. So I don't want to. I don't want to click this to reveal this stuff. Uh, okay. So so you guys can also get the password list. For that, in title and then index of index of password list txt enter so you can see the the result the 4270 results found so if you click this you can see that password list so I don't want to click here <laughs> so those kind of informations uh, you guys can so let's say if you guys want to find SQL database passwords so let me copy the command. So the file type is ink and then in text MySQL content passwords. This kind of information is very useful when you're doing uh, penetration testing. The previous chapter, uh, there was a basic techniques. Okay, but this is the chapter three uh, is a first stage, you know, so it's the initial stage when you're doing the penetration testing. So let's move on to the next topic. The Google Hacking Database contains multitudes of creative searches that demonstrate the power of creative search with the combined operators. Mastery of these operators combined with the keen sense of detections are key skills for effective search hacking. Netcraft Netcraft is an internet service company based in England offering a free web portal that performs various information gathering functions so let's open the website the use of service such as those offered by uh, netcraft is considered a passive technique since we never interact with our target directly let's review some of netcraft capabilities okay so we can open this search uh, dns search dns.netcraft.com we can use netcraft dns uh, search page to gather information about the microsoft.com domain okay so just for example i'm using this microsoft.com so let's search So for each server found, we can view a site report here. Okay. These reports provide additional information and history about the server. The beginning of the report covers registration information. However, if we scroll down, we can discover we discover various uh, site technology entries okay you okay, guys can see here so this list of subdomain and technology will prove yourself as we move on the active information gathering and exploitation okay so recon ng Recon NG is a module based framework for web based information gathering. It displays the result of module to the terminal 
but can also store the result in a database. Much of the power of a recon ng lies in feeding a result of one module into another allowing us to quickly expand the scope of our information gathering. Let's use ReconNG to compile interesting data about uh, the website Megacorp1, what we seen before, to get uh, information, you know. So to get start, uh, let's, simp let's simply run uh, ReconNG. So now let's try, uh, let's simply run ReconNG. So enter. According to the output, we need to install various models to use uh, Recon NG. We can add modules from the Recon NG marketplace. So, we will search the marketplace from the main uh, prompt with a market search, providing a search string as an argument. Okay. Good place search so we can use the github in this example we will search to search for a module that contain the term uh, github so let's enter so now you guys can see here uh, under the k colon uh, some of the modules are marked with an asterisk these modules requires credentials or API keys for third party providers. Let's use this command to examine the domains host a Google site web module. Good, please. Info recon domains Google site web. So let's use this command. Just enter. So according to the according to its descriptions the module search Google with the site operators and it doesn't uh, recur an API key. Okay. So let's go ahead and install the module with the marketplace install. So it's the marketplace use the install and then recon domain and then host sorry google sites okay so now after installing the module we can load it with the module load followed by the name of the module okay please load recon domains host google web ok then enter sorry there is a mistake I need to use modules Recon finds okay now enter so we can now use info so we then use the info command to display details about the module and record parameters uh, and notice that the output contain additional information about the module now that we have installed and loaded it according to the output the module requires the use of source which is target uh, which is the target we want to gather information about okay so in this case we will use options and then set source and then the website name megacorp1.com So we can now use run command. So we can now see the result. Okay, 
so now let's use the command uh, show host we can use the show host command to view stored data so we have at the moment so we have only one uh, host in our database but no additional information as you guys can see here perhaps another model we can fill in the IP address so let's examine uh, host result with marketplace info so let's use the command so this module description suits our needs so we will install it with the marketplace install recon host so let's enter so once the module is installed we can use it with the module load so using that same command host and resolve so let's enter and run it okay so we can now run the info command so info to display information about the module and it options this module will resolve the IP address for a host so after you run this info uh, it will display the information about the module and it options this module will resolve the IP address for a host okay so so we have four options we can set for the uh, source so default string path query so each option has a description alongside it for example in the Google site web module we used a string value however we want to leverage the database so this time if we use the default value recon ng will look up the host information in the database for any records that have a host name but no IP address okay By selecting the default source, the module will run against all hosts in our database automatically. Let's try this out. Let's let's try this out by leaving our source set to default and then running the module. So, let's run. Okay. Nice. We now have IP address for the host. Now, if we enter the show host sorry so it's a small typo okay so now if we enter the show host so after enter the show host after running the show host again so we can verify the database has been updated with the result of both modules host and IP address so it's successfully updated open source code in the following section we will discuss various online tools and resource that can be used to passively search for information one such source of interesting information are open source project and online code repository such as github gitlab and sourceforge code stored online can provide a glimpse into the program language and framework used by organization in some rare occasions developers have even accidentally committed sensitive data and credential to pub uh, public repos the search tools for some of these platform will support the Google hacking rare occasions developers have even accidentally committed sensitive data and credential to public repos the search tool for some of these platform will support the Google hacking search operator that we discussed earl uh, earlier. For example, GitHub search is very flexible. On GitHub, we will be able to search a users or organizations repos, but we need an account if we want to search across all public repos. Let's assume that we identify Megacorp's GitHub account. So. We can search the accounts repos 
for interesting information in this case we will use file name colon users to search for any file with the word users in the name so file name users our search only found one file uh, exam.users even with a single result we may have found something very interesting as exam is a web application de development environment so let's check the content of the file so this file appears to contain a username and password hash so that could be very useful when we begin our active attack phase this manual approach will work based on small repos for larger reps so this manual approach will work based on small repos for larger repos we can use this manual approach will work based on small repos for large repos we can use several tools to help automate some of the search such as a git drop and git leak okay recon ng also has several modules for searching github most of these tools requires an access token to use the source code hosting provider api so now we can see a uh, showdown as we gather information as our target it is important to remember the traditional website are just one part of the internet so let's open the showdown showdown.io the Shodan website is very useful. Shodan is a search engine that crawls devices connected to the internet, including but not limited to the world wide web. This includes the servers that run websites, but also devices like routers and IoT devices. To put it another way, Google and other search engines look for web server content, while Shodan search for internet connected device interacts with them display information about them so let's start by using a showdown to search for host name uh, for megacorp1 so let's enter so let's enter so now you, you guys can create the free account okay so let's start by using showdown to search for host name colon megacorp1.com so you need a, a test account I mean you need you need to sign up this uh, free version okay so let's search so in this case uh, show down list the IP services and banners information all this all this is uh, gathered passively without interacting with the uh, client website so this this information gives us a snapshot of our target internet footprint so there are you guys can see there are two uh, server running uh, on the SSH so just drill down just double click this after clicking the SSH under the top services so based on this uh, showdown result we, we can we know exactly which version of uh, open as such uh, is running on each server okay so let's say if you want to click the IP address so we can retrieve the summary of the host we can view the ports services port 22 okay retrieve the summary of the host so we can view the port service and technology used by the server on the on this page showdown will also reveal if they if there are an, if there are any published vulnerabilities for any of the identified service of technology 
this information is invaluable when determined where to start when we move to active testing okay security headers scanner there are several other specialty websites that we can use to gather information about a website or a domain security posture some of the sites blur the line between passive and active information gathering but the key point for our purpose is that a third party is initiating any scans or checks so let's open the website securityheaders.com one such site security headers will analyze HTTP response headers and provide basic analysis of the target site's security posture. We can use this to get an idea of an organization's coding and security practice based on the result. Okay. So let's scan uh, scan any website like uh, Microsoft.com. Microsoft. And check the result so this site is missing uh, uh, several defensive headers such as content security policy and uh, ref referral policy and permissions policy these missing headers are not necessarily vulnerabilities in and of themselves but could indicate that the target environment has not been hardened so SSL server test from Carly's SSL labs. So let's open the website first. SSL lab. This tool analyzes your server's SSL TLS configurations and compares it against the current best practice. It will also identify some SSL TLS related vulnerabilities such as Poodle or hot blood so let's test the website megacorp1 and check the result www.megacorp1.com so the results are not as bad as the security header checks however I just scroll down uh, you guys can see here the Defi helmets and then OC4 chipper you know so the weak Defi helmet key exchange RC4 chip, uh, chippers and lack of forward secrecy suggests our target is not applying current best practice for SSL TLS hardening okay for example Disabling RC4 chippers has been recommended for several years due to multiple vulnerabilities. We can use these findings to get an insight on the security practice or uh, lack theref thereof within the target organization. Pastebin. Pastebin is a website for storing and sharing text. Okay, let's open the site. Many people use Pastebin because it is ambiguous and simple to use but since pastebin is a public service we can use it to search for sensitive information for example we can use the website for basic searches or use the api for more advanced users user information gathering in addition to gather information about our target organization resource we can also gather information about the organization's employee. Our purpose for gathering this information is to compile users or password lists, uh, build pretexting for social engineering, augment phishing campaigns or client side attacks, execute credential stuffing, and much more. Some of these following methods will overlap with those already discussed in the previous section, but we will go deeper into a fewer tools specified to users enumerations email harvesting 
Let's begin our user information gathering with some basic email harvesting. In this case, we will use the harvesters which gathers email names, subdomains, IPs and URLs from multiple public data source. So, we can just enter F and D. So, there is a... Okay. So, let's run. Password dumps. Malicious hackers often dump breached credentials on Pastebin or other less reputable websites. These password dumps can be extremely valuable for generating word list. For example, Kali Linux includes the RockU word list generated from a data breach in 2009. So let's open that. You guys can see here the count, the uh, password count. So you guys can see here the word, the password counts. Checking the email address, we don't have the uh, the result, the no email address found in the previous uh, scan that you know the harvester. So if you guys found during the user enumerations against the password dumps can turn up password we could use in credentials surface attack. Social media tools. Just about all organizations now maintain some sort of presence on social media. The information a company posts on social media can be very useful for us. We could, for example, use the information to identify potential employees and gain more information about the company and its operations. So there are various ways to gather these public informations with the several tools we have already discussed such as uh, Recon NG and uh, Harvesters. Okay, let's explore a few additional tools. Okay, Social Searcher. Social Searcher is a so uh, search engine for social media sites. So let's open the website. Social searcher.com. Okay. So a free account allows a limited numbers of search per day. Social searcher can be a quick alternative to setting up API keys on multiple more specify uh, more specialized services the search result will include information posted by the target organizations and what people are saying about it among other this can help this this social searcher can be quick alternative to setting up api keys on multiple more spe specialized services so let's enter So the search, the search result will include information posted by the target organizations and what people are saying about it among other things this can help us determine. So this search result will include information posted by the target organizations and what people are saying about it. Among other things this can help us determine what sort of footprint and coverage an organization has on social media. So once we done this, we may choose to move on using the site specific tools. Site specific tools. There are two site specific tools that we may want to familiarize ourselves with. 2.5. So you guys can see here the link, uh, the exact link, uh, uh, dg.ninja projects and then uh, TWO25.php. So 
The two files scans a user to test feed and generates a personalized word list used for password attack against that user. While we will not run any attack during passive information gathering, we can run these tools against any Twitter account we have identified to have a word list ready when needed. Tufi requires a valid Twitter API key. So next, LinkedIn to username is a script for generating username list based on LinkedIn data. It requires valid LinkedIn credentials and depends on your LinkedIn connection to individuals in the target organization. The script will output username in several different formats. Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow is a website for a developer to ask and answer coding related questions. The site's value from an information gathering perspective is in looking at the type of questions a given user is asking or answering. If we can responsibly determine a user on Stack, of, uh, Stack Overflow, is also an employee of our target organizations, we, we may be able to infer something uh, about the organization based on the employee questions and answer. For example, if we found a user that is always asking and answer questions about the Python, even what's if we find employees discussion? and it would likely be used at the organization where they are employed. Even what's if we find employees discussion sensitive information such as vulnerabilities, remediations on this type of uh, types of forms, we would discover unpatched vulnerability during this phase. OSINT Framework The OSINT Framework includes information gathering tools and website in one central location. Some tools listed in the framework uh, cover more disciplines than information security. The OSINT framework is not meant to be a checklist, but reviewing the categories and available tools may spur ideas for additional information gathering opportunities. Multigo. Multigo is a very powerful data mining tool that offers an endless combination of search tools and strategies. Multigo's learning curve can be steep and it is frankly overkill for this module, but it is impressive capabilities warrant an introduction. Multigo searches thousands of online data sources and uses extremely clever transforms to convert one piece of information into another. For example, if we are performing a user information gathering campaign, we could submit an email address and through various automated search transform that into an associated phone number or street address. During an organizational information gathering exercise, we could submit a domain name and transfer that into a web server then a list of email address uh, a list of email address then a list of associated social media account and then into a potential password list for the email account the combinations are endless and the discovered information is presented in a scalable graph that allows easy zoom and pan navigation. Multigo Community Edition or Multigo CE is included in Kali and require a free registration to use. So you guys can also check in the Kali mission. So there you go, right? So you guys just play around with this tool 
so it's very useful so that's it guys for this video so we have completed the passive information gathering so i hope you guys enjoy this video so the next upcoming videos we will see uh, active information gathering okay please subscribe my channel press the bell button to get more update share the video to your friends guys see you bye bye